Welcome back, everyone. So many of you have welcomed Alexa into your living rooms for more than 15 years. Hard to believe, right? Uh, today is her last day, and to say we're, we're going to miss her is really an understatement. Let's take a look at some of the highlights and some of our favorite moments from her amazing <laughs> oh, career. Guys. Getting ready to go forecasts and traffic reports in North Texas. Turn to Greg Fields and Alexa Economos. Break away with smoother morning commutes. Get fast break traffic updates. Every morning, I just pray there's traffic so I can see her on the news. <laughs> oh, we have to do traffic. Yes, some traffic. <laughs> I was invited over to the traffic center. No, you weren't. <laughs> Here he comes. Hey! Okay, ready? Uh, <laughs> uh, Cowboys right. heartbreak. Oh my God. You gonna be all right? <laughs> <laughs> go Alexa, go Alexa. Cowboys heart. <laughs> Three, two. Look at Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that May fart, May Fest starts today. Wow. What? Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. Can't do it. You would do the whip nay, nay. <laughs> so what do you do to stay awake other than whip coffee? Nay. Cowboys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even notice he took this video. <laughs> oh! Oh, look I just at that. Add some red lipstick to her. Autoinsurance.com. Uh huh. Shoppers. <laughs> Join in. Almost 24 hours since a man shot and killed dozens of people inside a small Texas church. I was in church yesterday with my family. I, I can't help but get a little bit, you know, choked up with about your it. children. With my children, yeah. my husband. She said that to me yesterday. My family feels complete. This is motherhood. <laughs> there you go. There's motherhood. <laughs> well, yeah, That's a working woman for this you, right the there. You've been hearing <laughs> behind the text tag cameras. My father, um, life changed on a dime. And uh, my father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Your warm wishes and your prayers. And the messages you sent my family have sustained us and brought us so much comfort. Good luck to her, whatever she does. Good luck to her. Yeah. And her husband. You can't And be happy all their lives. That's it. I love them. Yeah, yeah, Pulaki, I love you. Wow, I can't believe you caught her on camera. I can't either. She is so ornery. So precious. Thank. You. I don't. I um, don't know what to say. Can I say now? No, yeah, it's your okay. time. Go ahead. Um, because I, 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 I usually like to go off the cuff, but I thought it might be a little difficult today. I did prepare something, so um, bear with me as, um, as, as I say it. Um, thank you for honoring me. Um, for creating this magnificent goodbye in what has been in total an incredible 20 year journey of 17 years with this company. I wanna thank Mike Devlin, Carolyn Mungo, and Leslie McArdle for, as you saw, always allowing me to put my family first and for the opportunity to work with such a wonderful team, Maria, Jesus, Melissa, um, Hannah, Chris, Brian, Kelly, Bill, Lauren, Matt, Kayla, Sheena, Jamie, Mateo, and Tiffany, sweet Tiffany, we've been through so much. You put your all into making Daybreak something truly unique, and it shows. Thank you for your dedication, your excellence, and above all, your friendship. Demetria and Janelle, I love your spirit. I love your sass. I love what you guys bring to Daybreak, um, and I'm counting on you to keep these guys in line, okay? Larry, who's behind the camera, and Greg, I'll never forget the moment 15 years ago when I stepped into the old studio for my audition. And um, little did I know, I met uh, two men who would become anchors in my daily life. Larry, I've always said this, you're the heart and soul of Daybreak. Your integrity and your patience is unparalleled. Patience. <laughs> Greg, um, we've talked about this. I'm gonna say it again. You'll never know how much you mean to me. How deeply I admire the multifaceted man of faith that you are, how much you've taught me. Um, and Ron, <laughs> there aren't adequate words to express. But you know, um, you're my partner, you're my other half, um, 
notice I didn't say better half. Um, <laughs> um, you are my brother, and no one can make me laugh like you do. Um, we have shared a lot of laughter and tears over the years, and it's only the beginning um, because our friendship is everlasting. Um, and that will never change. You all are my family, and that doesn't change. And finally, to you, our dear friends who welcome us into your homes every morning, you have my deepest gratitude. Thank you for sharing your lives with me and for allowing me to do the same. Uh, when I moved here, uh, an unsure 20-something-year-old in 2001, you welcomed me with open arms. When I met a boy and fell in love, you sent us best wishes. When our firstborn arrived prematurely, you sent up prayers, and that's when I knew Texas was my home. When we welcomed two other blessed babies, you showered them with love too. You even mailed birthday cards to my beloved 107-year-old Yaya. And when my dad died unexpectedly this summer, and I went home to care for him, you prayed for peace for my family. My father was my greatest supporter. I always thought that he would be here to share this day with me. In his absence, my wonderful brother, John, flew in from California. And I think that he would agree, if my father were alive, he would thank you. He would thank you for making me feel like your daughter, your sister, your cherished friend. Please know that in addition to being a wife and mother, being welcomed into your homes, earning your trust, being able to learn your stories, has been the greatest privilege and honor of my life. I am so very humbled by your love. Please know that you have mine tenfold, and that above all, we have shared, and we continue to share, a beautiful humanity that will endure beyond the walls of this studio. I love you all. And I believe, I believe, and I said this, that your success beyond this will be as great as, as it has been here, and you have a plan mapped out. Let people know what's next for you. Okay. Um, well, I am leaving to pursue a little bit more of um, a, a, the, the work-life balance that my family needs, and we are starting a new um, family business venture that will literally have me coming into homes, <laughs> and that's your teaser. And um, for more, you can go to my Facebook page and... And, um, and you'll see what that's all about. All right. With that, the family's here. Thank you for coming in. A cake from our friends oh at Society Bakery. Oh, and there's little Anique. She's all grown up. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you for everything. And thank all of you for being a part of our Daybreak family each and every morning. Tomorrow, you'll meet our new partner, my new partner here on the anchor desk at News 8 Daybreak. And Good Morning America is coming your way next, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Let's wave.